Liberal MP Gladys Liu is facing new allegations she pushed to relax foreign investment laws before entering Parliament. Liu was president of the Victorian Liberal Party's Eastern Multicultural Branch in 2017 when it proposed the motion. The motion, highlighted by the ABC, called for the raising of the $15 million screening threshold for agricultural land and the $55 million threshold for agribusiness. It also reportedly called for the government to address the xenophobia that is currently in the Australian community regarding foreign investment. The new revelations come as she faces calls to resign over links to the Chinese Communist Party and allegations she failed to declare donations. Shadow Education Minister Tanya Plibersek, Plibersek spoke a short time ago on the issue. Well, I think he was pretty clear in the last few days. Uh, this is, um, it is actually an incredible situation we're in. Labor is asking justifiable questions about one member of parliament. We've got a prime minister who is pretending that this applies to a whole community. You've got a prime minister that was very happy to go after Sam Dastiari, but wants to turn a blind eye when it's one of his own. I think uh, the, the member for Chisholm should do the parliament uh, and the citizens of Australia the courtesy of explaining herself in the parliament to stand up, to make a statement uh, about these questions that she has to answer. I remember very clearly Scott Morrison making this a test of leadership for Bill Shorten when it was one of ours. When it's one of his own, he should show some leadership and answer the questions that are being asked in the media and in the parliament about his member of parliament. Well, there continues to be, uh, on successive days, more information coming out uh, linking um, Gladys Liu to uh, organisations uh, overseas uh, in China and more questions about undeclared donations, for example. Any other member of parliament would be expected to stand up in the House of Representatives and explain uh, her position on these unanswered questions. And the Prime Minister should make that happen. This is a test of his leadership. He wants to, he wants to go full bore if it's one of ours and he wants to turn a blind eye when it's one of his own. That's just hypocrisy.